623. Now, here's a question for you. If you had to put a bet on what song had had the most airtime in public over the last 75 years, where would your money go, John? Well, I've said Hotel California, but Is that's that a personal bias because I like the Eagles Anything very else? much. Indeed. But I, I also think Imagine by the Beatles should be there. Right. Well, actually, it's Imagine by John Lennon. John Lennon, all right. Yeah. Uh, sorry to be a bit pedantic there. But yeah, um, no, I, t I tell you what, we'll talk about what, where, where those come in a moment, if they come in there at all. Mm -hmm. Because here are the top five. I feel it in my finger. I feel it in my toe. Love is all around me, and so the feeling grows. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. Is it nothing really Pedantic, I, but that was three, not five. I know, but that's not my John fault, is it? Beatles. It's okay, yes, exactly. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well, already. <laughs> it, it is. Morning. And DJ Good Phil Wilding's here, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll be gloves off. And right now, so just to say, imagine you said John Lennon, uh, number 32, by the way. Um, and that, of course, was the th three, three, two, one, as it were. Yeah. And um, are you are you surprised by the number one there, Procol Harum? Um, up to a point, but then you have to remember that about a year and a half ago, um, they all went to court, didn't they? Uh, Procol Harum, as bands do, they form, well, they have. Brooke did, yeah, Guy Brooker did, but then he'd done the they organ, fall right? out exactly. Even though it's based on a classical piece, but we won't get into that here. We haven't got time. No. <laughs> um, but he went to court, and of course, when he actually won the court case and a check the size of you know my head, and I've got a massive head, um, it, it just made the news all over the world. So suddenly that song yeah. was back in, in everyone's consciousness again. Do you know what I mean? Classic. And also, that can't have just been the reason why it suddenly got number one. In I the, think it helped. It. it really was a major, major story. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. and also it's, I think as well. You know, when you hear an old song you like with you, Hotel yeah. California, <laughs> it is. It is like seeing an old friend, isn't yeah. it? It's not like an ex-wife you duck into a doorway. You, you kind of welcome it back. And I think if that's kind of tapped into your mind, into your mental state, you think, oh, yeah, but I do don't like you, that. But don't you think in some ways, I, I mean, I, I listen to that, and it's so firmly rooted yeah. in, the, in, mm. in, in, the, in that era. Yeah, part of your life. <laughs> <laughs> you were young, life. running through fields of poppies. Yeah, actually, I probably <laughs> in wasn't slow even motion. born, I don't think. Um, of and were. then there's... The <laughs> <laughs> and then, but, but you listen to Bohemian Rhapsody, and yeah. I don't know whether it's because of the fact I do hear, I seem to hear that all the time, mm. but it, 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 still, it still has a freshness about it. It. Yeah, and it still I, sounds I, current. And I think with with Bohemian Rhapsody as well, it, it's got arguably the most iconic intro you'll ever hear in any yeah. song. Do you know what I mean? It's like you you mm. don't hear and go, "What is that? Who's no, that guy?" Yeah. And you know, you instantly see the <laughs> video. But I think with Purple Harlem, I, I, even though it's it's less. It's less of an emphatic song. I think mm. that intro straight away. It's a great songs like that. They just hit you straight away, and you don't you don't have any second guessing. You think I know exactly what that is. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's no. selling sweets or chocolate somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it is, and of course I love that work, work, work one. But every every single it's a bloke slog song, though, isn't it? Everyone in the bloke, every bloke in the head just went, oh no. Can I say though, when when I met Reg Presley of the Trogs, who wrote that yeah. song. And uh, what he likes to do as a hobby is, is crop circles. He, he's a big fan of crop circles, as you can be, I'm sure, if you live in the country, alone. And, um, <laughs> and he said to me, it's great, the money's great, because I can now do much, I can yeah. do, spend much more time in my circles. It, so it, I thought, it, well, you know, Marty Pell has done some good in the world, which I never thought I'd say on TV or anywhere out loud <laughs> ever in my life. Well done. Morning, Marty. Uh, now, the surprises are, uh, all the surprises when we were touting mm. around, the Beatles didn't make it into the top ten. Number 11, a lower goodbye, yeah. Yeah, Robbie Williams came higher than Elvis. Yes. That that was quite interesting, mm. and um, and Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, not even in there. And also at Gl all. Glenn Miller's in there. Yes. Glenn, that's it, very is there like a theme pub somewhere up north where everything's in black and white, and they all just play in the mood all the time? I d it's very. I, odd, I, isn't I honestly it? can't remember the last time I was anywhere, and I got a lot because I don't like staying in. No. Um, and I can't remember. You the last like time to be I out did, doing crop circles. I just yeah, me and me and Led Zeppelin in a field <laughs> somewhere waving. <laughs> I go, and I'm sure one landed there. Um, <laughs> but I, I but I, I I suppose they wanted to represent the 75 years of PPL as well. So so. If things like in the exactly. mood which must have been a massive hit at the time but yeah. you know that came on in 1939 yeah so I, f I find that quite beguiling that that's you actually see, in the charts well, well john of course was on his first job I was, by just, then. I was going to be ahead of you even <laughs> i wasn't around john was <laughs> the news at the time <laughs> then kirsty's around for the weather good morning kirsty <laughs>